If you've also reached a state of utter despondency about the vast cost of real estate in Israel, then there may be one tactic that you haven't yet considered. Most people searching for a home to buy or a place to live in Israel are familiar with the website called Yajdaim. Yajdaim literally means second hand in Hebrew and is also the name of a popular online marketplace that includes real estate listings as well as all manner of second hand goods. By searching within the real estate category, you can attempt to find the very cheapest real estate located anywhere in Israel and then make your decisions from there. This does require a bit of playing around with the filters because Yaj Daim also lists parking spaces, yes parking spaces, within its real estate category. But if you're persistent enough you'll eventually hit on some legitimately cheap real estate. The first listing that I stumbled upon, which both had a price tag and photographs, was this property on Shmuel Salnet Street in the centre of Petach Tikva. It was listed for 100,000 shekels, which at today's dollar rate clocked in at just over 26k USD. Note that according to Yajdai, nearby properties have been retailing in the region of 3 million shekels, so this listing I knew was almost certainly in error. Nevertheless, I thought I'd give the lister a call. Shalom. Hi, shalom. Zo- Hi, I'm going to go to Shmuel Sanet in Petach Tikva. Did you see the price of 100,000? Is it true or is it true? No, 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 it's true. This is true in the case of the case of the case of the case of the case. Do you know this process? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, no problem, it's not relevant. Okay, bye. So much for that. I decided to raise my virtual budget past the 100,000 shekel price mark because all those listings were also mistakes. At the 130,000 shekel mark, I began to find agricultural plots located in different parts of Israel. For 140,000 shekels, the equivalent of about 38,000 USD, you can become the proud owner of a plot of agricultural land in the Hod Hasharon area in northern Israel. There are a couple of catches, however. Firstly, the listing is only 80 square meters, and the second flaw is that it's not listed in the taboo, which is sort of like Israel's official land registry. Around the 200,000 price mark in shekels, we found an unlikely contender, what claimed to be a five-room penthouse in Kriyat Atta. Knowing that this was likely also an error, I thought I would try my luck again. Unfortunately, this inquiry also ended without me finding the bargain of my dreams in Israel. Hello. Hi, Shalom. Hello. Hi, I'm going to Kiryat Atta in Yajdaim. What is the price of the penthouse? It's about 200,000. It's about 200,000. Is it true or not? No, it's about 200,000. Okay. Are you ready to buy it? No, after these several discouraging faltering attempts, I struck upon this listing in Jerusalem, located in the Arnona neighborhood, not too far from where I currently live. At 271,000 shekels, this place clocked in at just over 72,000 USD. Its deficits are that it's firstly intended as a storage unit and therefore doesn't include any sources of natural light or electricity. Nevertheless, I thought I would chance my luck and see if they'd have me in spite of these shortcomings. Hello. Hi, Michael. I saw the house in Yajdaim. I wanted to ask you, No, Finally, after my virtual budget approached the half a million shackle mark, more than 129,000 US at today's rate, I found my winner. Selling for just under half a million shackles is this 25 square meter apartment located in the desert town of Beersheba. It's located on the fourth floor and is a one room property, which is essentially a studio. Hi, Shalom. Right at the Macombi at Stein, but Rats eat love dogs, Romach Sands, and Macomb La Gorbona. Dura, Dura, the Estreamve Hamish Meter, the Godel. Okay, the Hetzi Million Shackle Nahon. So there you have it guys, if you want to own property in Israel, you're going to need at least $100,000. If you can muster up this sum of capital, you may just be able to afford a one bedroom property in the southern desert metropolis of Beersheva. I hope this video provided a laugh, wasn't too depressing, and perhaps gave you a sense for how crazy the housing bubble in Israel has become. If you would like to get more videos from me about everything to do with living in Israel, then please consider subscribing to this channel.